Hello and welcome back to the fourth episode already of my football manager save with Schalke 04. Where we go for a road to glory kind of type. And we do this together with our Excel sheet. And you may ask, what Excel sheet? I do everything in this save based on data. So everything I do, all the players I select and all the players that I b bring in, they're all done by data. And if you don't know how that works, please see the link in the for the video in the comments. You will find me explaining how the Excel sheet works. And if you have any questions about it, do let me know in the comments and I'm really happy to explain it right there. But first things first, let's get on with the video. I'm going to show you what kind of progress we made and how we're standing in the Bundesliga in our first ever season. And let me tell you, we've been doing very well. Firstly, I've been offered a new contract. Um, I'm now at 16K a week with a yearly wage rise of 5%, which is very nice. Um, I have also gone up in my stats, so I've now got a bit more attacking, technical and mental, and also more better mental stats. And I'm currently studying for a National A license, still a Sunday League footballer, um, but I don't think this Sunday League footballer will change, will be able to change anything, but we will see about that. Win percentages have gone, has gone down because we're, of course, in a higher league, so we're winning a lot less. But let me show you how we've been doing. So right here you can see how we've been doing. Of course, this is what you saw until the match against Buchum when we were first in the league. After that, we were doing pretty well. Another win against Hoffenheim and another uh, win against Mainz where Roger Marti was stealing the show. And Asan Quadrago also was benefiting a lot from playing time. After that, a bit tougher. A little loss against FC Bayern where we just lost 1-0. A tie against uh, Union Berlin and then a defeat against uh, the Bull Leipzig. All games that we are expected to lose. Then a 3-0 win against Freiburg and a 1-0 win against Werder Bremen before losing 1-3 to Wolfsburg, um, which was a big shame because we were the better in that match for sure. But unfortunately, I also had to do with a lot of injuries. Um, after that. Losing to Borussia Dortmund, but also winning against Köln, winning, losing against Stuttgart, which we also should have won. But Giresi, who is also doing really well in IRL right now, with three goals, so a hat-trick. Then a 5-2 win and a 4-2 win over Hanover and Augsburg. And we're now in January, as you can see, a lot of wins, which means that we are third in the league, which is sensational as our debut season, third in the league. We have won 10 draw one and lost five and we actually haven't gone any lower than third uh, yet in this campaign so we're doing very well indeed and um, of course it's very close with Borussia Dortmund Werder Bremen and Stuttgart but if we can finish in 10th or higher that would be great because that would mean that we just do what is expected of us which is a very good um, as for top, top scorers, we do have uh, Koita with 9 goals. He's doing very well, performing very nicely with 9 goals at 6 assists. By far our best performing player. And it's also uh, shown in his value. Let's go ahead and take a look at the squad. So what I've been doing is, these are the players that have been playing. Jonas Urbik, I'm very happy about. Aiden, I'm not so happy about. Or uh, I'm also happy about. Baumgartel and Klarer. Klarer, I expected more of him, to be honest. I expected a lot of big things from him, but he hasn't really been performing. A 6.8 is okay, just not good. Then Köln, a 7.3, a 7.1 is also good. The Seg Seguin and Schallenberg, but they've actually not are they are not our starters. Kunze is our starter, but he's unfortunately injured right now for two more weeks, so we can't really use him. Um, oh yeah, I think I forgot to show you. I brought in Dennis Pratt on a free deal. He is on 11.5k uh, a week, so he's a good backup player to have. We can sell him maybe later on, make some profit on him. But I just thought it would be nice to bring him in. Um, and of course, uh, Saad and uh, Koita have been doing very well. As you can see here, Koita with most goals and assists. But also, Asan Quadrago 
very very close to it as well such as Roger, uh, also Roger Marti who did very well for us when he was playing six goals for assist is getting a lot worse probably is his only season here we're not going to renew this his contract but he will help us to get some more money in through the league which is nice um then let's take a look at our finances um finance wise we're doing okay 23 million in the in the minus but that is because we are still paying off this net debt and it's actually getting bigger and bigger i just seems it's 307 now um but i think we will be doing fine of course our wages have increased a lot but once we get in the price money from the bundesliga which will be around 60 million we will have an, a, a positive uh, budget again and that hopefully we'll get a lot of money for it Currently, it says that we are getting a minimum of 1.5 transfer budget next season, which is not a lot. Um, also, don't have a lot of wage room right now, but that might change soon because I have a lot of players that want to leave. Uh, Ganaka wants to leave. He's request transfer lifted. Cisse wants to leave. Lasme wants to leave. Uh, Only oh, wants a new contract. And there was someone else who wanted to leave. I'm not sure who. But uh, as you can see, a lot of people are interested in some of our players. So I can't promise that no one will leave. I think some will leave. Um, but what I will do uh, is I will go ahead and go into players in range. Uh, no, that's wrong. I will go to scout the players because here you can see all the players that we've scouted. And go ahead and see if there's anyone who hasn't been scouted yet, which we need to scout. Uh, all the words I'm not going to scout because there's no way we're getting him in. And then just sort on right here go to new and then go to contract status uh expiring in six months and then you have all these players who are expiring in six months and these are the ones that i really want to um find out how much they want or uh, how much they uh, how how good they are if they are good for our team and if we can just uh, see how good they are internally and maybe bring them in if we want to um although I'm not sure if there's really going to be some people, some players that we want to add to this. But you know, you're you will be surprised by some cheap players that you can bring in, quite possibly. Um, so let's just scout all of these players. Um, let's go to report and to all knowledge, and then once they're in, we just take all of these, plop them into the into the excel sheet and then we can see which players it might be worth to get into our club and see if they can help us move forward um it's going to be on very cheap wages because we don't really have a lot but we will see about that anyway that's going to be it for now i'm going to see if i want to make any changes as i can see Ilyas right here is going to be free to for us to pick up that would be very nice but i'm just going to go st uh, scroll through this see if we can grab some players in and see if anyone would like to join us and i will probably see you back at the end of the transfer window or if something else important happens and before i leave i just wanted to show you one thing i think it's still in my email somewhere it should be right here. Asan Guadego is named the European Golden Boy. So as you can see, so the, for the likes of Erling Haaland, Petri, Jude Bellingham have won it. And now Asan Guadego, which means that his uh, transfer worth has skyrocketed up to 61 million to 76 million. But of course, I'd rather not sell this guy because he's come through our own academy. He's our own player. So he would be very very nicely to just keep around until the end of day he's also very versatile can play almost anywhere so he's probably going to stay for a while i'm going to do my best to just keep him in house uh, no other con no other new contracts for uh, other players once if you can uh, if you take a look here uh, a couple of contracts are expiring tobia tobias moore who was good for us last season he's doing okay for us but he's just uh, a sub he's going to i'm not going to renew that uh, his contract, Roger Marti, I might renew for another year, but I'm not sure. And Franco Vasquez has been injured a lot. When he's playing, he's not playing very well. I've been playing Marti, uh, Roger Marti over him. Uh, the reason why my um, uh, Excel sheet says he's good is because of his mentals and because of his uh, technicals. But if, uh, looking at the physicals, he's past his prime. 
but he was a good addition anyway he's on cheap wages so it doesn't really matter and all of these players might need a new contract later and the most important one would probably be Matriani I would like to keep him around but we'll see about that Gwilym Foggy I'm probably not going to renew because he, when he's playing he's not playing as well so I've been starting and uh, where is he Baumgartel over him um, he should be right there. Yeah, there he is. Because Baumgartel is doing a lot better than him. Not quite a lot, but he's still 28. So he's still maybe some room to grow. You never know. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it. I will come back to you once I've done some transfer business or if anything important happens. So here we are back again. I will show you what kind of transfer business we did. And then I will pause and I will come back to you at the youth intake that we did. Um, so first things first, I'm studying for my National A license, which I probably already showed you. Um, and meanwhile, we did, I think the first time I started, it was around here, the beginning of January. We then won 7-2 to Borussia Mönchengladbach, had two very tough wins, uh, losses against Bayern and uh, HSV. Um, they had like... If you look at this match, they had like no XG, uh, 0.4 XG, XG, we had 1.77. Um, and that had one one big important thing happened because we lost those games. But at those games, we already lost a big signing. Uh, and I will show you uh, who left the club. If you go to transfer history right here, you can see here with on the top, uh, Seku Koita which we brought in for 8.7 million um, and did wonderfully wonderfully for us. Scored 31 goals and 17 assists. Um, left for Saudi Arabia. I really couldn't keep him because I, he, I, I asked him, okay, do you want to stay? He said, yes, yeah, sure. If you give me 450k a week, he's earning 650k a week. That's most. That's more than what we spend on wages here at Schalke. We spent 533k, so we really couldn't keep him. He left for, I think, about 20 million. Of that 20 million, we didn't see anything, barely, because everything went into our transfer budget and we really didn't get anything back from it. Uh, we do have a transfer budget of uh, 3.9 million now, um, because I didn't decide to bring in a big money signing for the money and I couldn't really find any value for money deals. So what I did do is I did bring in one replacement for him, Ben Stardai, a very young player, 19 year old, can still improve, um, at, as an attacking forward, is very well rounded, can play anywhere in defense or in attack, so really looking forward to see him develop next to Asan, our wonder kid, so let's just see how he will do in his first half a season, and then next things that also happened is uh, Brian Lasme has left for 5 million, our backup uh, striker he wasn't getting a lot of playing time he wanted to leave and 5 million is a lot of money to get from him only played five, uh, 13 games for a scoring five he wasn't really playing a lot um, and I was happy to let him go because he wanted to go then Paul Seguin also happened has been with us uh, from, from the start 4.2 million played a lot in his first season then started to play less and wanted more playing time so left for 4.2 million to Stuttgart we also sold, uh, Merkin already got sold, Marius Müller already got sold, Ganaka, we did sell our backup left back. Um, he, we picked him up for free last season, didn't really play him and sold him on for 1.6 million, so that's some good business right there. And I think that's all the people, all the persons that have left in this transfer window. Uh, we did gain uh, some players in the, uh, we bought a lot of players, uh, we sold a lot, so we had to get bringing some people in. You already saw Ben Darda, who we brought in. Uh, if I just select it on here, you can also see that we brought in Lucas Pfeiffer as a backup striker, 28 year old, very tall good jumping reach good heading uh, just a good backup player to have only on 11k and we spent 800k on him so just perfect uh, th two year deal uh, which is just fine uh, for me then we also bought him Maximilian Middlestad which we actually brought in um as a replacement for uh, the guy that we sold, Kanaka, he is doing. Uh, when I look at my uh, data sheet, he is a little bit better, but he's on cheaper wages. He expects to be an impact sub, and he's already played, made one appearance for us as a as a backup. Only 625k, so not very expensive. And our main team is currently looking like this. 
Um, so I put uh, Dardai in here, Luca Pfeffer comes with us, Middlestad come with, comes with us, and Saad comes with us. So this is basically how we're looking. Um, Finn and uh, Dennis also want to leave. They requested the leave, but I couldn't really let them go yet. And they will probably leave at the end of the season. Uh, also, uh, Templeman and CC will probably leave. Uh, this guy is already leaving on the tra free transfer next season. So, um, if you look at the league, the last thing I wanted to show you before I just switch into the youth uh, system or the youth intake. We're still in fourth. We're losing a lot more games, but... Everybody is, I feel like, um, Bayern and Hoffenheim and, the, the, and Wolfsburg aren't getting very close. But if we just lose a couple more games, then we're somewhere around the 7th. I think 4th isn't very um, realistic, but we'll see how we're doing. We're just winning a lot of games. We're also conceding a lot of goals. Uh, so I think next season we might want to upgrade our defense a little bit. Uh, but we'll see about that and how much uh, transfer money we actually get transfer budget because if we get enough we can buy some really nice upgrades uh, we do still have a, a tough a, a tough uh, couple of games buy in here uh, also Hoffenheim is pretty tough by uh, Borussia Dortmund but at the end of the season we do have our only Augsburg Hanover and Borussia Gladbach which should be easier so if we just survive this then we could probably come in I think around sixth or seventh that would be nice probably seventh or eighth because we don't really uh, want to play European football there, so we don't have the team for that. Anyway, I will come back to you when I get the youth intake, and I will show you what kind of good players we got. Um, it says we're getting a good defensive midfielder and strikers, so very curious about that. I will be back in a bit. Alright guys, here we are with the youth intake for this season, the 24th, 25th season of Schalke 04. Um, so these players... They're not bad. They're not good either. I expected something better, but it's it's fine for now. Um, we did have Ahmed Basic, which I offered the contract 11 determination. Looks pretty good. Has a high potential, but other than that, not really great strats. But this guy, Ordu Mumanga, has pretty good mentals already. Good physicals. Um, technically all right, but his personality is fickle, so might not go be too good of a player. We will probably retrain him to be either a, uh, a winger on the left, because then you don't need the finishing. But other than 15 technique, 15 first touch, looking like a nice player. Um, then we also signed Martin Fuss, who has set 14 determination, pretty good mentals as well. Could be a very well a rotation player for us and we signed some other players which I always just look at the personality and at the determination this person has an ambitious personality which was why we got him this guy is lighthearted but he has great potential low determination I usually don't get and uh, so the personality slack I also don't want in my team Jacek has a resolute and he has 15 determination so that's why we got him Sven Bernard 13 determination and balanced personality which is always good Anna Brau unambitious but 14 determination I might just withdraw that because I don't want him to be in an ambitious this guy ambitious which we already saw so that's going to be our youth intake uh, how we did until the youth intake we went on a pretty bad run we uh, lost against uh, we won against Hoffenheim then lost against Mainz Bayern and Red Bull Leipzig but won against Union Berlin that's mainly due to a lot of people uh, having injuries uh, Middlestadt was out then Spraat was out Kunz was out and Eitlin Ed, was out, as well as Saad, who's out for 6 to, seven, uh, for six to 2 weeks. But we're still in 4th. Um, Hoffenheim, Stuttgart and Bayern are coming very close. And we still have a tough schedule ahead. So we'll see how that is. Um, I will be coming back, come back to you in the next episode with the new season. Show you what, how where we finished and how we're going to, uh, to go from there in the next season. Um, however... I wanted to notice or to tell you one thing. I do everything in this career mode based on data. I have a data sheet in the description. You can read and you can see the video uh, where I describe 
uh, everything that we do in that uh, data sheet and how it helps me to select the right players for the right position in this uh, special tactic because of all these roles that I've added. I can also add other roles. So if I decide to play with another tactic, I can add different roles if I want to. But for now, that's all fine. Uh, anyway, if you want to uh, check that out, the link is in the description and I will explain everything there. If you have any questions, please do feel free to ask me in either this uh, in the comments of this video or in that video and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed and i hope to see you at the end of this season the 22 25 uh, the 2025 season where we just take on Schalke and see if we reach those european positions or we do not so stay tuned for that once again thank you for watching and take care